Good evening, Matthew Denun here. Today we have something special. We haven't done any spirits yet, so for our first spirit, we're doing something very special. We have Jose uh, Jose Cuervo, uh, Reserva de la Familia. Uh, this bottle, as you can see, is narrowly done, so we caught it right at the edge there. Uh, I got this bottle just in happenstance. It's a fantastic tequila. I love tequilas. It took a little while for them to grow on me. So what's important about this bottle? This is an ultra-aged tequila, also known as an ultra añejo. This is one of the finest styles of tequila you can buy. Now, what you say, Jose Cuervo, yes, they have made junk tequila for a long time. They make fantastic tequila at this point from the range of totally affordable to extremely unaffordable. This is their most unaffordable bottle. I don't know how much it costs, but I can tell you it is worth the price. They release about 12,000 of these, I'm sorry, 17,000 of these every year. Uh, this is a 2010 bottle. Uh, it's hand bottled, hand waxed, hand sealed. Everything about it has the touch of a master blender of tequila. Uh, so what you have here is this fantastic liquid. It's Ultra Añejo, so it's been in oak barrel for about three years. It is uh, mixed with a blend of 30 year old reserve tequila and it is just to die for. It has incredible amounts of aroma, incredible depth on the palate. So. Normally what we describe tequila as is vegetal, maybe even green bell pepper, which is a fault in so many wines. But the pleasure here is that it has vanilla, baking spice on top of it. It has a lot of herbal accents to it that make it more fresh as opposed to um, uh, artichoke or asparagus. You have this warm, fresh cut uh, herbal aspect to it, either dill or majorum almost. But that vanilla baking spice, that sweet baking spice, cinnamon, ninja, uh, ginger, nutmeg, clove. I was going to say ninja. Ginger, nutmeg, clove. Anyways. Not as unctuous as you would feel on the palate, but certainly full bodied for a tequila. Uh, almost thin and silky in its texture. Talc like. Fantastic, vibrant uh, vegetable accent. Uh, the vanilla is subdued on the palate. It certainly comes through with the nice edge of alcohol, but the vegetable aspect mellows it down. It's almost like a creamy asparagus or a creamy bell pepper at this point. You may not have a chance. It's kind of like Pappy Van Winkle, but if you have a chance to get a Jose Cuervo Reserva de la Familia, please give it a try. If you see it on someone's shelf, beg them for a taste. Cheers.